Hey guys, Carl Kuhnard here, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I've picked out 10 of my top fragrances for spring summer. Now just before we get on to this video, if you're not already subscribed, don't forget to go and click the subscribe button. And if you don't have my notifications turned on, just head to my homepage after this video, click the little bell, and that will notify you of any time I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's get on with fragrance number one. So kicking things off at number one is the Musk Imperial by Italia Cologne. Now the bottle is very simple, but it doesn't need anything fancy on there because the fragrance does the talking. Now I've worn this a lot recently, and everyone has said how similar it is to the fragrance Aventus by Creed. The one fragrance that's so nice, everyone loves at once, but we can't all afford. I think it's like 250 pounds. Now this comes in at half the price, but gives off the same kick. Now, the scent itself is a very warm, seductive, sexual scent, and it is unisex, so it is for everyone. Now my second fragrance comes in from Jo Malone. This is the Assam Grapefruit. Now the bottle is limited edition, it's from the launch of their new Huntsman Savile Row collection. Now the scent is definitely one of those ones that when you wear it, it's really going to turn heads and capture the attention from others. Its top note is grapefruit, so when you spray it, it gets a burst of a really sweet fruit smell, which is personally kind of one of my favourite scents that I like when I'm spraying a fragrance. And yeah, that is why it has come in at number two. So fragrance number three comes in from John Vivartos. I personally love his whole collection, but the Artisium Pure is my favorite. It just gives me such a uh, fresh feeling. I love the design of the bottles that he does. This one has a very elegant woven design, makes me feel like something that I would see on the beach, which is hopefully where you'll be finding me in spring, summer. And the scent itself has a very crisp, woody, citrus smell, and it's very masculine as well. Now, fragrance number four is probably a fragrance that you've seen so many times before if you watch a lot of these videos, and that is Dior Sauvage. It's very dark and daring, but it's one of those scents that you will just be able to use all year round. It has featured in every single one of my fragrance videos and probably will continue to be that way for a long time. It's actually the number one selling fragrance in the whole world, which kind of says it all, really. There's not really a lot more I can say about it. So fragrance number five comes in from Replica, and this is a new found favorite brand for me. Uh, the bottle itself is very simple, but it has everything you need on the front. It tells you the name of it, because they have so many in their collection. So this one is called Flying. It tells you what the fragrance description is, so a citrus and fresh air, and then also the style description is gender anonymous. So this one is for anyone. Now when you spray this, it gives out a blast of icy citrus and literally makes you feel like you're escaping gravity into this freshness of like a sunny day. It really is an incredible smell and that is why it made it to number five. So fragrance number six, you may laugh at me about this one, but trust me, you will be pleasantly surprised if you try it yourself. Now this is Signature, by Sean Mendes. Really love how he's added in a guitar pick at the top here to kind of show his journey in a very successful music career he's had. Now, when I received this, it was left in the bottle for quite a while because I am no Sean Mendes super fan, so I kind of felt like it's probably not for me. But when I did choose to open it and smell it, I personally love sweet, fruity smells. And this one is made up from a Macintosh apple, pineapple and lemon lemon oil so it's very very fruity and sweet and it's just a perfect fragrance for the everyday wear so before i get quick to jump into judging a fragrance next time i'm definitely just going to try it because you will be pleasantly surprised so paco rabanne one million comes in at number seven another one of my favorite fragrances the bottle itself is a gold bar Everyone would love a gold bar, so it just emulates a guy that wants to live with the finer things in life. Now this was the number one selling fragrance for nearly 10 years before Dior Sauvage unfortunately knocked it 
off the top spot. But the reason why it was the best seller for nearly 10 years is because it's just one of those fragrances that's perfect to add into your collection. It's a good fragrance for a day to night wear. It fits every occasion and you can wear this all year around as well. So it's not something that kind of just drifts out towards the winter. It really can fit any occasion and any season. Okay, so at number eight is from Tommy Hilfiger. This is Tropics. Now, first of all, the bottle is very simple, but when I look at it with this little leaf on the top and the design of it and how it's see-through and the color of it, it just gives me a feeling of lying on a beach with a cocktail on a tropical island, which I think we all want to feel like that. Now, the scent itself is a very masculine scent that gives off a perfect, fresh, citrus smell. Now I feel like you may have heard the word citrus a lot over this video. I just feel like that's a note that I love to include into most of my scents for spring summer. It's very fresh, fruity and kind of warm and um, all the things that I feel fit spring summer well whereas obviously winter is very musky and dark and woody. It's good to include some of that into your spring summer, but I look more for the freshness. So number nine is Burberry Indigo. Now my favorite color is blue, and this bottle is a beautiful ocean looking color. And then it has this nice little ribbon to finish the packaging off. I just feel like it gives it that very elegant, sophisticated look that I feel the name Burberry has over kind of like a clothing collection. Now the fragrance is a very modern, bracing scent of fresh and like aromatic notes. It really is a beautiful smell. And finally, number 10, which I nearly smashed on the floor, is coming in from Aramis. Now this was the first of their incredible collection. The scents are amazing. If you do get a chance, go and smell some of them. They fit every season, every occasion. But this one fits perfectly for spring, summer. It opens with a very nice grassy green feel and then moves into more of a kind of a floral, herby heart. Very gardens, like you're taking a nice stroll for a beautiful garden with flowers, fresh air, and then just fresh cut grass. So yeah, this one is another one to add perfectly into your spring summer collection and this is the final one for my top 10 for spring summer. So that's it for today's video guys, I hope you did enjoy it. All of the fragrances that I've mentioned in today's video will be down, linked in the description box if you want to go and check them out for yourself. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it that all important thumbs up. And if you are a new person to my channel, thank you so much for joining me and thank you for staying with me all the way until the end. I hope you did enjoy it and if you did, don't forget to go and subscribe to my channel and I'll be seeing you very shortly guys on my next video. Take care, see you then.